What's up guys, welcome back to Awesome Eats. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a steak with a blue cheese sauce. This is something that just popped into my mind. I saw it somewhere on TV and I was like, I have to have it. I have to have this steak with blue cheese sauce. It just sounds too good. So it's not really a recipe, it's just a freestyle. I hope you still enjoy it anyway. It's a beautiful day in our garden here. The leaves are falling, we're outside. It's kind of warm, the sun is shining. We have a flank steak over here. Flank steak is my favorite cut. Sliced correctly, it is the most delicious of steaks. And it's really cheap. First step, we're gonna cut this so it fits the pan. Season it heavily with salt and olive oil and put it into a wicked hot pan. Now we have our flank steak here. The silver skin is removed. We can season it with salt, and quite a bit of salt actually. So a nice layer on both sides. Half of it will fall off in the pan anyway. Now we just take some oil, lather it on. There's a lot of fat that will render as well when we hit it into the pan. So we don't have to put that much olive oil on it. And we can just put it into the frying pan. And my technique is just to flip it around every once in a while. You just want to give this a couple of flips. As you can tell, the steak is at 60 degrees in the middle, which is perfectly medium. I'm gonna let it rest in the pan so the residual heat comes throughout all the meat. So just put it to the side. What I wanna create now is the cream sauce. It's a very light sauce, no bechamel, nothing really thick or rich. It's just a cream sauce with blue cheese that we lay on top of the steak so it looks really nice, becomes really flavorful. Over here we have some heavy cream. This goes into the pan. All of it, 200 milliliters. And we're just gonna let that reduce for a bit. So put it on full heat. We can take some garlic powder, add it as well. And um, over here I have some Bavarian blue cheese. You can go as stinky or as unstinky as you want. I like a crazy blue cheese that's really nice and creamy and you know it's blue cheese, like you can smell it. We're just gonna take a couple of chunks and emulsify it into the sauce with the skin and everything. As I said, this is not a recipe, this is a freestyle. We're just gonna let that melt and a dick load of black pepper. Now we come to the most important part. The steak has been resting for at least six to seven minutes. You have to find the grain of the meat and cut against it, yeah? There we go, and it's perfect, medium rare. Goodness. Perfect. The delicious cheese sauce goes on top. I'd say this is a great feast for two.